Gene, uh, this news about the child tax credit uh, makes this this income, this support to American families uh, as consistent and steady as normal income is. Uh, the, we don't get our incomes in one lump sum per year. Uh, and this is a way of dealing with that phenomenon of where this used to be delivered in one lump sum per year. Here it is being spread out in a predictable, usable way throughout the year. You know, absolutely right. This is a historic tax cut. It is one of the hallmarks of the American Rescue Plan in providing security, dignity, opportunity to virtually every middle class family. And as you said, being a, a policy that can have a major impact in reducing child poverty. But you're right. Normally, you wait for your tax cut till the next year. But the president. So th there's a couple of things here that are that are quite new and important. One. We're giving that tax cut now, starting in July, when people need it, when they're still coming back from the COVID pandemic. But as you said, Lawrence, it's going to come every month. And one of the things I'm most proud of in our work with Treasury and the IRS is that for the people who get direct deposit, which is 80 percent of American taxpayers right now, it's going to come on the 15th of every month. So working families trying to make ends meet will know that if they have two children, they're going to get five hundred dollars every month. Or if they have two children under six, it will be six hundred every month right on the 15th. And I do think this reflects uh, a, a lot of the policy heart of Joe Biden, uh, not just that it's going to help the dignity and security of families, that it's going to reduce poverty. But when you talk about him uh, you know, wanting to know the details. One of the things he presses, and this was true in the campaign, it's true as long as I've worked with him, is how are how's it going to affect people? How are they going to know what they're getting? How do average people who are working hard every day just supporting their family are going to understand what the government's doing for them? So here, they're going to know. Jan June, July 15th, August 15th, September 15th, they're going to know that there's that extra support that they can plan on and count on. And this has really never been done before. And I think it's an important thing. And Lawrence, let's be clear, it's critical for this year, but nobody wants this to end after this year. That's why it's also extending it, making sure it goes on and on is a key part of the president's American families plan. And I think it's going to be very hard pressed for many Republicans to decide after this monthly child tax credit goes out to all working families that they're going to oppose President Biden's effort to have this go on for years to come. The uh, it has never been done before. But uh, as we know, it has been thought about, uh, strategized by policy experts in the arena, trying to regularize, trying to normalize uh, income support for people who need it uh, in a way that uh, so-called normal incomes arrive into people's lives. Uh, and government has always had this kind of this grudging form of delivery. You know, there's all these conditions and these timings and these things that make the delivery uh, less useful in people's lives. I mean, it works, it's helpful, but one lump sum is kind of the least useful way to get money. You know, absolutely. And actually, our vice president, Kamala Harris, used to say that some of the, the reasons that people get taken advantage of with predatory predatory payday lending is that even though they know maybe tax relief's coming, you know, when that car breaks down, when they need that extra expense, when they're dealing with a, you know, a medical issue, that money's not there. So to make sure that people have the option, really, it will automatically go monthly to every Americans. I think both the fact that you know, the president's increased it to 3000 per child under 17, 3600 for children under six years old and made it uh, go monthly. And Lawrence, an important thing was before this, a family, the most hard pressed American families, maybe making 15, 16,000. They got less of a child tax credit than a family making 10 times as much. That doesn't make sense when that lower income, hard pressed working family needs it just as much. Now it's going to be the same for everyone. That's more fair. And yes, some experts believe that over time it could reduce child poverty in half 
while being major tax relief for middle tens of millions of middle class families. Uh, Gene, before you go, I, I have to ask you about this New York Times article reporting behind the scenes how President Biden does the job. Uh, you have now been up close with three presidents, starting with President Clinton, working on complex economic policy, uh, many issues that most presidents have not uh, dealt with before uh, coming into the Oval Office. What would you add to that uh, New York Times report about the way President Biden approaches these complex decisions and digesting this complex material? Well, you know, I, I think in his heart, he understands that what might seem like a policy detail to perhaps some reporters is a life or death issue for a family, making sure that people get the child tax credit, as we said, could reduce poverty for half of children. That's not just a detail, you know, does it, co does it come on a regular basis? He understands, he understands whether people are getting the health care, whether child care centers are closing. We just announced a restaurant uh, grant program, restaurant revitalization. You know, he realizes, he, you know, when we were in the Oval talking about it, he was talking about relatives of, of his that he had seen. Uh, his first father-in-law worked so incredibly hard on a restaurant. He sees that real person and he knows getting that right might be a detail in a policy world, but it's life and death to a working family, to their hopes, their aspirations, the desire that everyone has to care for their children. So what I like about the details is not him in the details is not just the wonky detail, but that sense that he sees in every person, in every family, he sees that time that his father had to go tell them that they lost their job, that they weren't sure about their economic security. And it's that detail that's kind of ro that's rooted in his heart and his, his sense that economics is really about ensuring the dignity and respect and place in the community of all of us. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.